welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy, hello, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we're covering the huge parking lot sale this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, March 13th, 14th, 15th. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you only need the edge. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. So let's jump into it. Let's see what they got. The old Harbor Freights here. It's going to be new and exciting or whatnot. Okay, so first up, we got the U.S. General 44-inch by 22-inch double bank extra deep cabinets. This is your standard, you know, one of the, the smaller of the, I guess, the mid smaller of the mid-range cabinets. $400. That is the buy-it price on that. You don't really see it lower than that, except maybe as an open box or return item. All right, the pole saw there, the Portland pole saw, that's the plug-in, not the cordless version, but still not a bad little pole saw for 50 bucks. The sh below that, we got the Chicago Electric Sliding Miter Saw, dual bevel sliding miter saw. This was the one that basically was one of the reasons I got started doing YouTube was t trying to tell people that this wasn't a half bad little saw if you used it correctly. That said, they've, they've made some changes. They, they used to come with a, a blade. The blade is now sold separately. That is about the best price you're going to see on it. I've seen it, I think, all of $2 cheaper than that. That said, once you add a decent blade to that, which I recommend, you know, the blade is 90% of the job of the saw. So you're looking at, you know, probably $150. At that point, why not spend 20 bucks more, get the Admiral. It's going to have all the other features that you want that this doesn't have, and it's going to come with a blade. Uh, it's, it's, I know I hate being the bear who tells you just, you know, just spend a few bucks more, but in this case, it really is a few bucks more, unless you already have a blade and you just need something cheap, you know, this will do the job. All right. It, it, it will. Now, the one thing you want to do is when you get it home, you want to test it, make sure it's square. If it's not square, take it back and get another one. Uh, okay. To the right there, we got the Chicago electric. We got the good and the better the flux core. Now, I have both of these. In fact, I did a video on them last summer if you want to go check them out. The Chicago Electric is decent. It'll do the job, all right? It, and at 100 bucks, that's it gets a little bit cheaper every so often. But that titanium, oh my gosh, 160 that is the buy-it price on the titanium. It does DC versus AC welds, which means you get less splatter. It's easier to use. It, it weighs le It's like a lunchbox. It's so portable, so easy to use. Everything about it, you know, as I say with these better items that they're having now uh, over Harbor Freight, is basically they're fixing everything that you just really find annoying about the, the cheap stuff like the Chicago Electric welding and, and, and making it better. There's a lot of people who do mods on the Chicago Electric to convert it from AC to DC and, and to do some of the other stuff, but you're still going to be left with this giant hunk of a box if you can get the titanium you will be so much happier if not if you only got 100 bucks to spend i get it and and you can stick metal together with that chicago electric you can do it but that titanium is so much easier to work with now oh and i will say this if you're going to do an upgrade on any of these uh upgrade the clamp the grounding clamp the harbor freight sells actually a pretty decent little cheap grounding clamp you can just cut the cable on that uh, wire it up takes you like five minutes and it will really improve your welds all right let's scroll down here the brawn light there wow 33 percent off that coupon is pretty much always floating around somewhere you should never pay more than 20 dollars for that for that light there it's a great light but you shouldn't pay more than 20 bucks for it uh save up to hey at least they increased the size here they still have the stupid little size over here but, but at least i can read it because usually on previous ones you couldn't even read the part where it says between Friday and the 50% where it says up to. So they've done something. Probably got tired of me bitching about it, but I still think it's ridiculously small. That said, let's jump through the uh, save up to 87%. Uh, Three-piece hex shank socket driver set. Those things are great. You should always have a set or two of those around. Remember, don't use those for impacts. So you can lock up in the socket or in the, in the anvil uh v-shipped hanger there's your machete for when the zombies show up for five bucks uh safety glasses for 99 cents yeah the, yeah i guess they'll work cable ties the bag i like the bag there for four bucks i have a lot of those bags floating around the shop use them for all sorts of things uh the high visibility or sorry high yeah high visibility socket adapter set for 2.99 those are a good thing to have around just as spares I've got the 12-piece cushion grip screwdriver set that I picked up for some testing. It 
it, it, I guess it will turn some screws. It's not the most pleasant thing to use. Uh, the six inch composite digital caliper for five bucks. I love those things. Uh, they're great for checking all sorts of stuff. I, I have the larger one, but the six inch one for five dollars. If you need something small, it'll do a great job. Now here, the solid rubber wheel chalk. People ask me if this thing works. It works great. I, I have several of them. I use them on trailers, vehicles, all sorts of stuff. I mean, five bucks. They're great chalk. The three by five American uh, uh, flag, not available in Minnesota. And the reason is this flag is made in China. Now, Harbor Freight is currently selling two flags. They have a made in China one for six bucks here. And then they've got a made in the USA one. I think it's like $20. Uh, the, the 12 piece assorted elastic stretch cords are not a huge fan of those. The heat gun, that's not a bad little heat gun. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it will heat stuff up. Maybe even the gun itself, probably your fingers, but I mean for $9. Now the folding lockback utility knife. I use these all the time. I love those $4 there. I'm looking around trying to see if I can find mine around here. I just had one. Here, I got mine in front of me. I'm trying to see if it's the same thing. And no, mine's different. Mine is, this says it's a Sheffield. Oh, uh, we'll have to figure out. I don't know I'm sure where that one came from. Anyway, I love that style of utility knife at the very least. We got the, uh, let's see here, the saw blades. The saw blades are, well, they're junk, let's be honest. But, you know, if you're not, if you're not cutting through hardened steel all the time, um, you know, they might do an okay job and they might not. Anyway, nine piece wobble extension set. There you go for $10. That's a nice little pickup. The 15 pound capacity telescoping magnetic tool for three forty nine. dollars um, It, you know, it's got a life expectancy on it. Uh, I go through probably two of those a year, but at $4, I don't know. And, and, and to be honest, it's not usually because, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because it just dies on the job. It's usually my, one of my cubs is using it for a fencing tool or something. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's talk about real quick over here on the on the red portion. Uh, for those of you who don't know, so what they do is they have open box factory or uh, returns and stuff that get sent to the store. And these items get marked down progressively each day. At least they used to, and then they didn't for a while, and then they did. Who knows what they're doing this month? It seems to change every single month. But essentially, the idea is if you come in on a Friday, they're going to be marked down at the sa whatever sale price they're going to be. At some point on Saturday, they're going to mark them down some more. And then uh, if there's anything left on Sunday, it's going to get marked down a, a stupid amount. Now, the deal is this. all Here's what really happens. Uh, anything that's really nice that you actually want is somebody with the uh, – with the the inside track club is going to come in on Thursday because they get to come in a day early. They're going to come on Thursday and they're going to scoop it up at 50% off. Now there's going to be some other stuff that floats around for Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Uh, and anything that's actually worth buying is going to be gone by Saturday night. So you come in on Sunday, chances are there's not going to be much there. You might luck into something, but if you wait till Sunday, if you see something there on Saturday and you wait till Sunday, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be gone. So just, just, Take that into consideration. There we got the Rapid Pump uh, three-ton steel jack there for $84.99. Right price, it's the wrong one. I prefer the low-profile one. Uh, th there we got the Daytona three-ton steel professional floor duty jacks uh, for $97.99. Uh, we got the Franklin ladder there. The, you know, that's a nice little ladder. It really is for 100 bucks. And then we get the pressure washer. I got a video. I'm trying trying to finish a video on it right now. I really am. And it decides to start raining in Vegas. You know, it hasn't rained in like six months. The week I'm going to do pressure washer videos, it starts pouring buckets. Of course it does. We got the Badlands ZXR 1200 pound or sorry 12,000 pound truck SUV winch with automatic brake control for 289. Now these these winches will get the job done. They're not the fastest winch out there, but they will get the job done. Uh, the Predator's uh, inverter generator, six seventy nine. If you need a, a thirty five hundred watt generator and you want it to be quiet, like camping and stuff like this, th these are quickly the Predators are quickly replacing uh, the uh, the Hondas when you see out at the, lo the local campsites and stuff. Used to be, I go around, and I'd see Honda generators everywhere. Now everyone's got these the Predator. It's amazing how how the just like in one year they kind of replaced all of them. Twenty four foot eighteen bulb. 
outdoor linkable string lights. Okay, so I was kind of down on those before I really realized what they're for. You know, they're not for illumination. They're for accent lighting. And for accent lighting, they look kind of nice. They do. If you're trying to create something to read by or something like that, that is not the way to go. But the linkable part is, is nice. All right, good. We got good quality, good quality, and best quality. Is, is this something new I missed? <laughs> so, I, I guess because they don't have the, uh, there's there's no Bauer one yet. Is there no Bauer multi-tool? I don't know. Um, so, the the single speed multi-tool versus the variable speed and versus the heavy heavy duty speed. I have, I think, all three of these. I have, I was going through a drawer. I think I had all four multi-tools at some point. And I just gave one away. In fact, so what I had was I have the single speed somewhere, and I know I've got the multi speed. And then I had also the uh, the the what you call the the Chicago Electric Professional, the 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 off blue one before they came out with the Hercules. I'll say this: I love. I got the Hercules one. I won't use anything but the Hercules one. Why? Because it's a toolless uh, changer on it. You flip up the switch, and you can pop the. Uh, the, the, the multi-tool part off and you put it on the, on the different heads. I won't go back to having to dig out an Allen key to have to, to change the head on my multi-tool. Uh, that, I, that said, I ended up giving the other one away and I keep the other one as a backup for like what the Cubs are doing a project or something. They work great as little detail sanders as well for them working on stuff. Um, and, and it's pretty hard to, uh, I mean, I'm not saying you can't injure yourself with one of these, but it, it, I think it's a good uh, tool for uh, one of the Cubs to try working with. Uh, <laughs> it leaves them shaking like they've been eating earthquake pills with a coyote. Uh, let's see here. The good versus best quality, when they just left out the middle of the road here, we got $99 versus 119 This is what I don't get here. Six-gallon oil-free compressor at 100 PSI, and then you got the Fortress at 175 PSI, not that you're likely to need 175 PSI, um, but you can run two two nailers off of this thing. I'm trying to figure out why this is in the Fortress line. I guess I'm just trying to say the Fortress line is for high-end used professionals, but I mean, a six-gallon you know pancake compressor for 120 bucks doesn't seem like a bad deal. I don't know. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this one. Central pneumatics, three eighths, 50 foot retractable hose reel. Get a retractable hose reel. If you don't have a, a retractable hose reel, then you're just, I've, I've been there, I've dealt with it. And then I finally got a hose reel. I would never go in back to just spooling up uh, air hoses in the shop. You got to have a hose reel. You should have a hose reel for air and you should have a reel for electric. You need to have both. And then you need to tell Moda to shut the snot up. I don't, I don't know anybody in Maryland. Why would Maryland be calling me? That said, you should really. Uh, that said, I we have the uh, shut up moto stickers in the shop. Don't forget to check those out. As well as our other merch, we got the Dead of Tools stickers. We got magnets. And we got uh, more stuff coming here shortly. And we got the two-ton foldable shop crane there for $189. It's a great crane, it is, but that's a that's a decent price on it. Oh, wow. How did I almost miss this? We got the Bauer 10-amp 10 10 deep-cut variable speed bandsaw, $89.99. That is a, that's the buy-it-now price right there for sure. The, I, I don't think I've ever seen it lower than $89.99. It's usually $99.00. Uh, I've got a friend who's been looking for one of these. I'm going to call him up right after this because that that's what he's been waiting for. In fact, we were over at, at we're uh, doing scouts. If you don't know, I'm believe it or not, I'm a Cub Scout leader. <laughs> yeah, go figure, right? And the <laughs> it's Pinewood Derby time, or we're getting ready for Pinewood Derby. So we were helping uh, rough cut out the cars, and I brought over my uh, my Bauer saw and my Franklin. Uh, clamping workstation and i set it up in that vertical configuration and uh, had the cubs you know uh you basically sketch out the design they wanted and i rough cut it and then they had to trim and sand and they were doing painting and uh, decorating and then we're going to be adding the wheels over the next couple weeks and weights oh yeah gotta love pinewood derby time 
So let's see. Let's go through the rest of it. We got the Predator at ninety four ninety nine. That's five dollars less than the typical price. This seems to be actually a fairly decent sale. Uh, let's see here. We got the Variable Speed Rotary Hammer there for sixty nine ninety nine. Now that's a, actually a pretty decent price. But here's what I'm gonna say. Check out the open box items. This is one of the most returned items. Not because it's bad. But because people only need it for one job and they use Harbor Freight's return policy like a rental. They go, they're doing a weekend project, they buy it, do the project, and return it. And so you'll see bunches of these in the open box items. Um, let's see here. We got the Predator, uh, the, the the pressure washer there for $350. That's actually a pretty decent pre pressure washer. Anything, honestly, with the Predator motor on it. As they, they've shown to be fairly, fairly reliable. Next to that, we got the 18 volt 3 8 cord. I do they still have these things in, in store? Don't buy this. Uh, that's the old NICAD, it's going away. Try to find batteries for no, don't pass hard, hard pass, hard pass on that. If you want something inexpensive, I hate to say it, but you're gonna have to spend a few bucks more and get the Warrior. Uh, don't buy anything with a NICAD battery right now. It It's shelf life is extremely limited uh 50 inch clamp edge guide for 14.99 uh i guess when i've seen this cheaper than that but that said uh, i use them and i like them some people have said that they've tried them they didn't care for them it seems that uh, your mileage may vary kind of thing Tr 20 ton hydraulic uh, bottle jack runs off an air compressor for 80 bucks i, I want to get one of these i really do i don't know what i'm going to do with it uh there's a mod to take one and use one in the um in the shop press that they sell so you can turn your shop make it automated off the air compressor that'd be a good deal the diablo this is the mid-range hoses the, the earthquakes their top line the diablos are fine these are excellent the cheap hoses from air hoses from harbor freight are cheap and they kink really easily the diablos are excellent i love using them grant's shop towels 8.99 the, you will get red threads everywhere in in your shop. You will. They work. I mean, they're they're shop towels, but man, I don't. Maybe they've gotten better. You tell me. Have comment down below if you've used them recently. They do they still shed like a Labrador. Uh, they they're just everywhere. Uh, hundred watt uh, solar panel kit for one fifty. That's a standard price. The earthquake, twenty volt, uh, half inch impact for two fourteen. This thing is a beast. All right, this is this is your high end prosumer, low end pro level tool. Uh, if if you just need a half inch impact, here's the thing: the Earthquake line is excellent. It, the only thing, the only problem with it is it's limited in the amount of tools you can get. Now they did just come out with a new one. They came out with a new grease gun, which is pretty awesome. But uh, if if you you know if they have if they have the tools you need, and, and you need that level, don't hesitate to get them. They're they're excellent uh let's see here the the cover pro i've never been a fan of the slant legs but they've got the new 10 foot by 10 foot straight leg pop-up canopy i've had lots of pop-up canopy canopy tents i've used it for all sorts of things uh i i used to teach uh classes uh for uh let's see here i, I gotta say it in you youtube compliant language uh uh personal security devices carried under garments while in the the state of california yeah believe it or not that's actually if you're not in the big cities and you're out in the rural areas of california that's pretty common and pretty easy to get and i was an instructor there and i had several of these canopies we'd use because we always did our classes outdoors and uh you know rain and whatnot and loaning them to friends and using them for scouts and stuff like that i've gone through quite a few not these from harbor freight but other brands and I got the Harbor Freight one. I'm pretty happy with it. I got to do a video on it here shortly, show you what I'm talking about. All right, we got next to us the Finger Slicer 5000 there for $109. I know some people use it. Some people like it. Some people like to get hit in the head with a hammer. Uh, and But next to this, the Hercules 10-inch job site saw for $250. That, that's it. That's the buy it price, man. That is the best, uh, best price you're going to see on this. Oh, let me scroll down so you can see the price. Here's the deal. People come back and they ask me about this all the time. It, it's a compact job site saw, both of these. If you're looking for a compact saw, this is what you want to get. If you want or have room for a bigger saw, you're going to want a bigger saw, all right? Don't buy a compact job site saw 
if what you're looking for and you have the space for and the money for is a, a shop saw, all right, you're going to want like a hybrid or a full cabinet saw or something like that. They're, they're not going to compete. But if you need something that's portable, you need something that's small, you don't have a lot of space, that sort of thing, this is the saw that you're going to want to get. And at 250 the Hercules, that's a, that's a sweet heart of a deal. You're going to be hard-pressed to find another uh, job site saw that can uh, rip a full sheet of plywood uh, in half. So uh, it, it's a great saw at, at that price. Keep going here. We got the U.S. General, your choice of seven colors for eight one eighty four ninety nine. This seems to be the new the new norm. Yeah, we used to see these at what, like one sixty five or something like that. Uh, we're not really seeing that anymore. Uh, I don't know if having the more colors, the shipping from China. I don't know what it is, uh, but the the new inexpensive price seems to be one eighty four. Prices go up, guys and gals. Years go by. We get old. Hairs get gray. Uh, don't don't roll your eyes if you know well I've been covering this for four years and the price has gone up uh, I think like ten dollars or so so anyway and we have a choice of now instead of one because when I started there was one color and there's now seven so you know your, your choice is there what you prefer uh, the down here right behind me we got the the Windsor 60-inch hardwood uh, workbench with four drawers. You know, this is one of those ones that I, I don't have personally. I thought every time I looked at it, it looked cheap, it looked cheesy. The guys who have it swear by it. They love it. That's all I can say. That oversized low-profile creeper, I constantly tell people to stay away from that thing. And and people are like, I've had it, never had a problem, blah, blah, blah. That's great. And that's like saying, well, you know, I went to China and didn't get, uh, you know, the Wuhan well, that, that's fine. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Uh, you know, it also doesn't mean that it's not, you know, maybe I'm spreading fear and hyperbole over this. But the fact of the matter is, I can't tell you how many times someone sent me a picture with one of the wheels snapped off or the thing buckling or whatnot. Even, you know, and people are like, well, you know, if you're not, you know, a giant bear size person, it works fine. No, I've seen guys who weigh a buck fifty have this thing break on them. Uh, and the same with the chair. I talked about the chair and I said that it's a piece of junk. And I got, oh, so many comments and emails like, I've had this thing for years and I'm a big dude. and I've never had a problem with it. Well, that's great. Maybe you're more delicate with it. Maybe you use it easier. But I can I can show you picture after picture after picture of somebody who's nearly killed by this thing. Because the fact of the matter is when this buckles, oh, <laughs> I mean, it it. It buckles in such a way that now you've got sharp steel right under your backside. So, or you're going over backwards, and, you know, it, no, it's, if it, fine. If, if you're careful with it and you, you don't run it over seams in the concrete and you don't just plop yourself down on it and whatnot, fine, it can work. But honestly, I think there's better solutions out there. Uh, speaking of better solutions, not a fan of the 301 Piece Masterpiece or Piece Master Mechanics tool set, but I know a lot of you are. 159, not a bad price. I mean, if you're looking for an all-in-one done solution, that's probably the way to go. Uh, we got to skip ahead here. I'm taking too long on this. We got the Bauer, your choice for 57.99. That's a, that's the good you know buy price, not an amazing price. Uh, we got the Palm Sander there for 25. The Jupiter 2000 watt continuous inverter there for 119. It's not a bad little uh, inverter. It really isn't. I it, I won't say I don't think it's a pure sine wave kind of inverter, but it'll do the job. Uh, Pittsburgh, your choice. Deep impact sockets. These are great sockets. Oh, remember when I said about that 20 ton shop press? Here it is. One 145 here. This is actually a decent shop press. I've seen lots of places, lots of pro shops use this thing. And then you can do the conversion by replacing the, the, the jack that's in it with the air power jack for lots of fun. We got the Ames 12-in-1 infrared laser thermometer. I've got this thing. It feels real tiny in my paw, but it works fine. So, you know, if you're looking for one of these, that's actually a really great price, to be honest. All right, I got to... I gotta jump through this. We got foldable sawhorses. They work. They're not the most sturdy kind of things. We got the five-piece combo flex head for twenty bucks. Kind of the same thing. <laughs> the six amps uh, saws all here for uh, nineteen ninety-nine. I know it's a resip saw. Hush. Uh, it, it's uh, 
for DIY kind of stuff, I've had them had one for years and I've used it on a whole bunch of stuff. I know a lot of people have don't don't run these things forever. Don't run them for 20 minutes at a time. People are like I bought it. It burned out the first day. What would you do with it? Well, I was cutting down a tree with it and running it constantly for for, you know, 50 minutes. Well, yeah, <laughs> that, that can happen. Earthquake. This thing is great. I just wish there was more 12 volt stuff in the earthquake line. There's like what? Two items. Anyway, uh, the warrior set. This is the hundred piece security set. Six, seven bucks. Buy it. If you don't have one of these, buy it, throw it in a drawer. You may never need it, but the one time you do, it'll be worth more than $7 to you. Trust me. Wow. Closeout special 145. It's going away, folks. I don't know what, if anything's going to replace it because Honestly, I this is one of the cases, just like the saw, I would step up, spend the extra 20 bucks or so, and get the mid-level, which in this case is the McGraw. I've had this compressor. Back in the day, I said this was the compressor to get, but they didn't have the McGraw back then. Uh, dual actual polisher, this, the $59.99. There's the price you want on that. That If you're looking for a polisher, this is a great polisher to get. There, look at this. We got the Braun 3-in-1 Connect Light Kit, 40 bucks. That's a good deal. The Cobra channel, uh, eight channel surveillance camera system here for $200. That's a good deal. And we got the Hercules right here. We got this, the sliding miter saw for $299 and the Admiral for $199. That's basically the prices you want. They're not a screaming deal, but that is the buy it price that you wait for on those. How about the rapid pump uh, jack from Daytona 3 ton? This is the one that started the whole Daytona thing here. And uh, this is the one that comes with a, I believe it's a three-year warranty on it. I, I, I could be wrong, but I was pretty sure this one had it. Anyway, it's got an extended warranty that comes with it. $177.99. You got to like that. Hold on. Let me check on that warranty real quick. Yep. And there we go. Guaranteed to be free from defects and material workmanship three years from the date of purchase. Limitations apply, of course. You know how that stuff goes. But anyway, so there you go. We got a three-year warranty on that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got some uh, hardy five-millimeter uh, uh, powder-free nitrile gloves. You're going to want that to protect you from the old Wuhan and whatnot. And let's see anything else here that's worth, uh, worth taking a look at while we're here. Let me just pull this all up here. Uh, we got the 12 by 12 microfiber cleaning cloths. Those are pretty nice. Those aren't the little cheapy free ones, the really small ones. These are 12 by 12. They're decent size. The pop-up lantern, love that thing for camping, a lot of outdoor kind of stuff. It, it is stupid bright, like don't look at it kind of bright. Uh, we got the five foot tarp for 199, five foot six by seven foot six. Uh, that one is the one that was just free. Coupon expired yesterday on that. Sorry, guys and gals. Uh, the SAA Matrix uh, metrics and torque set. Now, that's great if you like sets that will fall apart on you and lose pieces because those will. They're they're okay for an emergency, but if you use them consistently, you're going to put some Loctite or something on those things because they, they've all fallen apart on me. Um, and the rest of the stuff is pretty much business as usual. Although I do have to say, and I don't know why you guys keep making me have to repeat this, but come on, no lines before 8 a.m. and no waiting overnight. Harbor Freight's not a campgrounds, everyone. You know, and, and don't be hogging the deals for every, you know, from everyone else. Let's share those deals. So don't be camping out and, and stealing all the great Harbor Freight uh, parking lot finds. <laughs> or do, I don't know. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you. You all take care. God bless. And as always, come on, say it with me. Shine on. Oh, you're still here. Did you chomp the like button yet? Did you? Ah. Uh...